Hi guys, this is Isa from Princeton in another Plan With Me video and this time I will show you how I decorate my weekly spread in my pastel color planner. So I'm just gonna jump right in. I will go to my sticker book, which don't forget you get it when you purchase this planner. It's free, so don't worry about finding all these stickers because you have them already. So I'm gonna go to my solid boxes uh, section so I can find my headers, which this, um, it's not very obvious, but actually these uh, longer, you know, rectangular boxes, all of these are to fit on the boxes and headers of your weekly spread. And these other boxes fit on the monthly boxes of your uh, monthly spread. So just so you know, right now we're doing the week. So I'm going to grab, I think, these purple uh, headers. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna paste them here. First I need to resize to cover only the header that is already on the planner. So you can zoom in to make sure you get it right. Okay. And I forgot I, I put it here and not up here because I actually want to use a little um, checklist so I click here on check boxes and I want these ones so I'm just gonna copy it go here paste it again you have to resize all right and place it I'm gonna fix it a little more all right then I want a different header let me see do we have headers in this book yes we do they are right here so let me see what color I need. Some pink maybe, or maybe even this color. Uh, that could work, but I think I want pink. So click here and let's do today. Okay, so copy that, go here, paste it, and resize it. Again, to fit the space you have here. And then I'm gonna place it up here, okay? I'm just gonna do the same uh, decoration for every day of the week. And I'm only, all I'm doing is going to my sticker book, copying a sticker or different stickers and pasting them on my planner and resizing them and rearranging them. So I'm just gonna speed this part up. Now I will do something that I do want to show you how I do it because you might not know and it's a nice little tip. So I want to get rid of this header because I feel like, I, you know, this is just a tiny space and this is not enough area. I don't really need this division. So the way I will do that is I would need a white header, which I don't have included in my sticker book, but I can just make it. So using your lasso tool, select a white area on your planner. Click on take screenshot on this little arrow, tap there, and then click on copy. Then tap and hold, click paste, and then you don't see, but you have this white sticker that you just created just by taking a screenshot. So just resize it. I mean, you can't tell what it is exactly, but you can definitely see when it's covering the header and that's all we care about for now. So just um, make it the right size and center it. I don't want it to like get on the edges and cover the lines, the outline of the box. So I'm just gonna resize it. It's kind of hard. Uh, there we go, perfect. All right, and then I got rid of my line. So I'm just gonna copy that again and place it on each of the boxes. All right, so that is done. As you can see now, my boxes are a little bit uh, longer. So now the only thing you have to keep in mind is that if you copy, if you place another sticker on top of that sticker that you just made, I mean, just remember that it's there so that when you select your flag again, you will actually move this uh, bottom sticker as well. So the way you can work around that is instead of selecting with your lasso tool, just tap and hold, click on edit. And the downside to this uh, method is that this sticker grows so much and it's hard to calculate where it actually is or where, what the actual size of the sticker. Because if you try to resize here, 
it's not accurate so that's the downside of using this method however what i suggest you do is just edit then you just move it to another location where you know there's no sticker underneath and now you can select with your lasso tool and resize and move freely okay <music> So I'm just going to copy uh, these headers and cover the rest of the boxes. Now I just want to say normally I would leave these two last boxes blank as in like not with this header and this uh, checkbox but this time I feel like I definitely have enough to do throughout the whole week every day of the week so I'm just gonna make every single day the same even if it's the weekend. Alright so I'm gonna speed up this next part I'm just gonna bring some other stickers from my sticker book and keep decorating. <music> Right here I want to try something else I also want to cover these boxes I'm not sure it's gonna work so I'm just gonna try we'll see if it does work or not so I just don't want first of all I need to fix this header like that okay I just want to uh, cover these edges of my boxes like this okay so they're a little bit high let's see if i can lower them there we go so now there's no more boxes here this might be like too much work and effort but i don't know i just like to change out the layout of my spread sometimes I and mean, it's kind of nice and it's a way of you uh for you to like customize the pages that are not in another way non-editable in good notes and then i can place my weekend banner which i'm gonna have to cut as you can see, the uh, lines are on top. So again, just cut my banner, paste it again. There we go. I'm not sure if I even like this. I don't know. I'm just trying it out. You can do the same. You know, I'm interested in um, showing you new ways of doing things. So now on the top here, I want to use some washi. So just for that, I will use something that is not included um, in your download. So I'm using this set that you can also purchase. I'm going to leave a link for this, but it's not included in the planner download. Uh, but it's so cute, so I think I'm going to use it. Um, this set actually comes with some extra um, pattern paper so you can copy this and use it as you wish you can sort of create your own washi which is what I'm going to do right now as I showed you earlier just take a screenshot of this copy it go back to your planner tap and hold click paste and then you can resize and in this case, I will need to crop and make it a little bit thinner, maybe there. Okay, and then just use here as an actual washi strip to decorate. Okay, then I'm going to have to... Actually, I should have done this side first. Yeah, let me just go back. Because since this side is longer, I want to do this one first and then just crop this other side if i do it the other way it's not gonna work maybe that doesn't make a lot of sense right now but you'll see so crop this 
around there a little more there so we can um, make it long enough to cover this whole area so what I mean is that regarding on the size of the strip that you need is how then uh, you will need to make your sticker so I'm gonna leave it right there okay so now I'm just gonna um, am I happy with the position yes then just copy this paste it on the other side and as you can see it's a lot longer than I needed so what I do is I'll just click on edit crop and then instead of cropping it this way I'm just gonna make it shorter maybe there I didn't really pay that much attention because all right so I have this bit left and if you come close you can see that I need to cut at around this line intersection so you can use some sort of reference in the pattern to know where to crop so just tap crop and then it was around there you see this little line intersection hit done and then i think it's up good Now, the reason why I'm selecting and resizing all of these together is just to make sure that all these boxes are the same size rather than doing one box at a time because I don't even know if I want to use other colors, but if I did, I have other options and they are already uh, with the correct size. So that's why I'm doing that. And actually, I want them down here. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. So you see that there is this bottom line that you can see. I'm actually gonna get rid of those with my uh, pencil. this is what I want my weekly spread to look like before the pen I might add some stickers and decoration on this area I will show you guys in my next videos how uh, these uh, spreads look like after the pen and after I've used them so thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up to let me know and also don't forget you can leave any questions in the comments below I will get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe since I'm uploading videos every week. Thank you again so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!